Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom, Judith. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we um, have our parasha for this week is Vayahel, Vayahel, and that means, and he assembled. And um, this is, um, and it's from um, Exodus 35th chapter, verse 1, through the 38th chapter, verse 2. 20. And if you remember, we were dealing with um, Moses um, getting everything together for the tabernacle of the Mishkan. Um, and so um, and again, let me know, oh, it says it's always combined with Parshat Peku Day during non-leap years. Um, in years when there is no additional month of Adar, and uh, this year, El Moshe et Kol Adat Omer Elohim Ele Hadavarim Asher Sava Adonai Le Asot Otam. Moses then convoked the whole Israelite community and said to them, "These are the things that the Lord has commanded you." To do. Psalm 114. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, from a people of strange language, Judah was his sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. What aileth thee, O thou sea, that thou fleest? Thou Jordan, that thou was driven back, ye mountains, that ye skip like rams, and ye little hills like you little hills like lambs. Tremble, though earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob which turned the rock into standing water, the flint into a fountain of water. This is the word of the Lord. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. May your kingdom come, Lord. May your will be done. We give thanks to you, Lord God, for you have brought us to another Shabbat, another time to remember our freedom and a time to rest, Lord, but more also, but moreover, Lord, a time to remember our spiritual needs and growth and, des and desires, that our lives is not, are not filled with physical working every day, but our lives are imbued as, in, as it was at the beginning of creation, a, a, a spiritual element into our lives was ingrained. That we may know that there's more to life than work, but a spiritual health and restoration. And you, Lord God, gave us the blessing, the blessing of Shabbat, to remind us of that spiritual need. And in this day, Lord, which you have given to us through the blood of Jesus Christ, and to our brethren, the Jews, you gave to them by bringing them out of Egypt and gave them a commandment to acknowledge that they were free. They were free from physical turmoil and bondage and can commit themselves to spiritual desires. 
which transcends all physical. And on that day, and on this day, Lord, they rest and call upon your name. And we also, Lord, because we have been delivered from the physical into the spiritual, until that day when all things become spiritual. We give thanks, Lord, and we rest and worship you. And in your son's name we pray, amen. Barukata Adonai Elohedu Melohalam Hamotse Lekamin Sawart. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gives us bread from the earth. Rukata Adonai Elohedu Melohalam Bere Pri Hagapem. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gives us the fruit of the vine. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom, Judith. All right. All right. Let me just, my notes are a little. Um, I lost the page. Okay. I think it's divided into just one part. We don't have any parts, so it's just one part, and it's he a symbol from Exodus 35, 1 through, uh, verse 1 through uh, 38, verse 20. And let's see how we'll attack this. Um, there's 35, it has 34 verses, and then 38. And then okay. Tell you what, let's just let's because a lot of this is going to be descriptions of uh, of things that are included. Uh, and unless you have some objection, we we'll just read through it first. 
Okay. Is that all right? Will that throw sure. you off in terms of no, that's your notes? No, I don't think so. I, I, I don't think so. Don't okay, think so what we'll do, I'll read 35, uh, chapter 35, and then you do... Thirty-six. Okay. And I'll do thirty-seven. And then the last one we'll divide together because it's only sixteen verses. You do eight verses, and I'll do eight verses. So you do thirty-six, chapter thirty-six, all of chapter thirty-six. Mm -hmm. I'll do all of chapter thirty-seven and. 38 will catch it. All right? Okay. Moses then convoked the whole Israelite community and said to them, These are the things that the Lord has commanded you to do. On six days work may be done, but on the seventh day you shall have a Sabbath of complete rest, holy to the Lord. Whoever does any work on it shall be put to death. And you shall kindle no fire throughout your settlements on the Sabbath day. Moses said further to the whole is community of Israelites, This is what the Lord has commanded. Take from among your gifts to the Lord. Everyone whose heart so moves him shall bring them gifts for the Lord, gold, silver, and copper, blue, purple, and crimson yarns, fine linen and goat's hair, tanned ram skins, dolphin skins, and acacia wood, oil for lighting spices, for the anointing oil, and for the aromatic incense. Lapis lazuli and other stones for setting for the ephod and the breast piece. And let all among you who are skilled come and make all that the Lord has commanded. The tabernacle, its tent, its covering, its clasp, its planks, its bars, its posts, and its sockets. The ark and its poles, the cover and the curtain for the screen, the table and its poles and all its utensils, the bread of display, the lamp stand for lighting, its furnishings and its lamps and the oil for lighting, the altar of incense and its poles, the anointing oil and the aromatic incense, and the entrance screen for the entrance of the tabernacle, the altar of burnt offering, its copper grating, its poles and all its furnishings, the laver and its stand, the hangings of the enclosure, its posts and its sockets, and the screen for the gate of the court, the pegs for the tabernacle, the pegs for the enclosure and their cords, the service vestments for officiating in the sanctuary, the sacral vestments of Aaron, the priest, and the vestments of his sons for priest, ser priestly service. So the whole community of the Israelites left Moses' presence. And everyone who excelled in ability and everyone whose spirit moved him came, bringing to the Lord his offering for the work of the tent of meeting and for all its service and for the sacral vestments, men and women, all whose hearts moved them, all who would make a wave offering of gold to the Lord, came bringing brooches, earrings, rings, and pendants, gold objects of all kinds, and everyone who had in his possession blue, purple, and crimson, yarns, fine linen, goat's hair, tanned ram skins, and dolphin skins brought them, Everyone who would make gifts of silver or copper brought them as gifts to the Lord. And everyone who had his possession acacia wood for any work of the service brought that. And all the skilled women spun with their own hands and brought what they had spun in blue, purple, and crimson yarns and in fine linen. And all the women who excelled in the skill spun the goat's hair. And the chieftains brought lapis luzili and other stones for setting for the ephod and for the breast piece, and spices and oil for the lighting, for the anointing oil and the aromatic incense. Thus the Israelites, all the men and women whose hearts moved them to bring anything for the work that the Lord uh, through Moses had commanded to be done, brought it as a freewill offering to the Lord. And Moses said to the Israelites, See, the Lord has singled out by name, Bezalel, son of Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. He has endowed him with a divine spirit of skill, ability and knowledge in every kind of craft, and it has inspired him to make designs for the work in gold, silver, and copper, 
to cut stones for setting and to carve wood, to work in every kind of designer craft, and to give directions he and Ohaliab, son of Ahishamach, of the tribe of Dan, have been endowed with the skill to do any work of the carver, the designer, the embroiderer in blue, purple, crimson yarns, and in fine linen, and of the weaver as workers in all crafts and as makers of designs. Let then, oh, I'm sorry, of uh, designs. <coughs> then Roth uh, Bez, <coughs> excuse me, Bezalel and Ah. Ahola bad, and every wise-hearted man in whom the Lord put wisdom and understanding to know how to work all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary, according to all the Lord had commanded. And Moses called Bezalel and Ahorelab, and every wise-hearted man in whom heart the Lord put wisdom, even every one's heart stirred him up to come unto the work to be to do it. And they received of Moses all the offerings which the children of Israel had brought from the work of the service of the sanctuary to make it withal. And they brought yet unto him free offerings every morning. And all the wise men that wrought all, all the work of the sanctuary came every man from his work which he made. And they spoke unto Moses, saying, The people bring much more than enough for the service of the work which the Lord commanded to make. And Moses gave commandments, and they were, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman make any more work for the offering of the sanctuary. So the people were refrained from bringing. For the, the stuff they for the stuff they had was sufficient for all the work to make it and and too much. And every wise hearted man among them that wrought the work of the tabernacle made ten curtains of fine twine linen and blue and purple and scarlet with cherubims of cunning work made he them. The length of the curtain was twenty and eight cubits, and the breadth of the curtain four cubits. The curtains were all of one size, and he uh, and he coupled the five curtains one unto another, and the other five curtains he coupled one unto another, and he made loops of blue on the edges of one curtain from the slaved in the coupling like look uh, likewise he made in the up, utter, uttermost side of other curtains in the couplings of the second fifty loops made he in one curtain and fifty loops made he in the edge of the curtain which was in the coupling of the second the loops held one curtain to another, and he made fifty tashes of gold and coupled the curtains one unto another with the tashes. So it became one tabernacle. And he made curtains of goat's hair with the tent over the tabernacle. Eleven curtains he made them. The length of one curtain was twenty cubics and four cubics was the breadth of one curtain. The eleven curtains were of one size, and he coupled five curtains by themselves and six curtains by themselves. And he made fifty loops upon the uttermost edge of the curtains in the couplings, and fifty loops made he upon the edge of the curtains, which coupleth the second. And he made twenty tashes of brass to couple the tent together, that it might be one. And he made a covering of a tent of ram's skin dyed red, and a covering of badger skin above that. And he made boards 
of the tabernacle of Shittan wood, standing up. The length of a board was ten cubits, and the breadth of a board one cubit and a half. One board had two tenons, equal distance one from another. Thus did he make for all the boards of the tabernacle. And he made boards of the tab tabernacle, twenty boards for the south side, southward, and forty sockets of silver he made over the twenty boards, two sockets under one board for his two tenons, and two sockets under another board for his two tenons, and for the other side of the tabernacle, which is toward the north corner, he made twenty boards, and there forty sockets of silver, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another, and for the side of the tabernacle westward, he made six boards, and two boards made he from the corners of the tabernacle and the two sides, and they were coupled beneath the couple together at the head thereof. To one ring thus he did to both of them in both the corners, and there were eight boards, and their sockets were sixteen sockets of silver under every board two sockets and he made bars of shittan wood five for the boards of the one side of the tabernacle and five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle and five bars for the boards of the tabernacle for the sides westward and he made the middle bars a shot through the board uh, from one end to the other. And he overlaid the boards with gold and made their rings of gold to be a uh, place for the bars. And overlaid the bars with gold. And he made a veil of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twine linen with the cherubims made he it of cunning work, and he made thereupon thereun, thereunto four pillars of shittan wood, and overlaid them with silver. Their hooks were of gold, and he cast for them four sockets of silver. And he made a hanging for the tabernacle door of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twine linen of needlework and the five pillars of it with their hooks and he overlaid their um, chapter chapters with their fillets with gold but their five sockets were of brass bezalel made the ark of acacia wood two and a half cubits long a cubit uh, and a half wide and a cubit and a half high he overlaid it with pure gold inside and out, and he made a gold molding for it round about. He cast four gold rings for it, for its four feet, two rings on one of its side walls, and two rings on the other. He made poles of acacia wood, overlaid them with gold, and inserted the poles into the rings on the side walls of the ark for carrying the ark. He made a cover of pure gold, two and a half cubits long, and a cubit and a half wide. He made two cherubim of gold. He made them of hammered work at the two ends of the cover. One cherubim at one end, and the other cherub at the other. And he made the cherubims of one piece with the cover at its ends. The cherubim, uh, cherubims had their wings spread out uh, above, shielding the cover with their wings. They faced each other. The faces of the cherubim were turned toward the cover. He made the table of acacia wood two cubits long, one cubit wide, and a cubit and a half high. He overlaid it with pure gold and made a gold molding around it. He made a rim of hand's breadth around it and made a gold molding for its rim about, round about. 
He cast four gold rings for it and attached the rings to the front corners of the four legs. The rings were next to the rim as holders for the poles to carry the table. He made the poles of acacia wood for the carrying the table and overlaid them with gold. The utensils that were to be upon the table, its bowls, ladles, jugs, and jars with which to offer libations, he made of pure gold. He made the lampstand of pure gold. He made the lampstand its base and its shaft of hammered work. Its cups, calyxes, and petals were of one piece with it. Six branches issued from its side, three branches from one side of the lampstand, and three branches from the other side of the lampstand. There were three cups shaped like almond blossoms, each with calyx and petals on one branch. And there were three cups shaped like almond uh, blossoms, each with the uh, calyx and petals on the next branch. So for all six branches issuing from the lampstand. On the lampstand itself, there were four cups shaped like almond blossoms, each with calyx and petals. A calyx of one piece with it under a pair of branches and a calyx of one piece with it under the second pair of branches and a calyx of one piece with it under the last pair of branches. So for all six branches issuing from it. Their calyxes and their stems were of one piece with it. The whole of it a single hammered piece of pure gold. He made it se its seven lamps, its tongs and its fire pans of pure gold. And he made it and all its furnishings out of a talent of pure gold. He made the incense altar of acacia wood, a cubit long and a cubit wide, square and two <clears throat> cubits high. Its horns were of one piece with it. He overlaid it with pure gold, its top sides round about and its horns. And he made a gold molding for roundabout. He made two gold rings for it under its molding on two walls and on opposite side as holders for the poles with which to carry it. He made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold. He prepared the sacred anointing oil and the pure aromatic incense expertly blended. He made the altar for, oh, I'm sorry, you can read <clears throat> one through eight. <laughs> and he made the altar of, I'm sorry, he, and he made the <clears throat> the altar of burnt offerings of shittan wood. Five cubits was the length thereof, and five cubits the breadth thereof. It was four square and three square the height thereof. And he made the horns thereof on the four corners of it. The horns thereof were of the same, and he overlaid it with brass. And he made all the vessels of the altar, the pots and the shovels, and the basins and the flesh hooks, and the fire pan, all the vessels thereof, made he of brass. Uh, and he made for the altar a brazen uh, girth, girth of networks uh, under the compass thereof, ben beneath unto the midst of it. And he cast four rings for the four ends of the girth of brass to be placed for the staves. And he made the staves of shittan wood and overlaid them with brass. And he put the staves into the rings on the side of the altar to bear it withal. He made the altar hollow with boards and he made the lavers of brass and the foot of it of brass, uh, brass, of the looking glass of the woman assembling, which assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. He made the enclosure on the south side a hundred cubits of hangings of fine twisted linen for the enclosure, and with their twenty poles and their twenty sockets of copper the hooks and bands of the posts being silver. On the north side, a hundred cubits with their 20 posts and their 20 sockets of copper, the hooks and the bands of the posts being silver. 
on the west side, 50 cubits of hangs, with their 10 posts and their 10 sockets, the hooks and the bands of the posts being silver. And on the front side to the east, 50 cubits, 15 cubits of hangings on the one flank with their three posts and their three sockets, and 15 cubits of hanging on the other flank, on each side of the gate of the enclosure with their three posts and their three sockets. All the hangings around the enclosure were of fine twisted linen. The sockets for the posts were of copper. The hooks and bands of posts were of silver. The overlay of their tops was of silver. All the posts of the enclosure were banded with silver. The screen of the gate of the enclosure done in the embroidery was of blue, purple, and crimson yarns and fine twisted linen. It was 20 cubits long. Its height or its width was five cubits like that of the hangings of the enclosure. The posts were four. Their four sockets were copper. Their hooks of silver and the overlay of their tops was of silver as were also their bands. All the pegs of the tabernacle and of the enclosure round about were of copper. So that's detail of everything going into the tabernacle of the Mishkan. Um, so uh, the building of the tabernacle and uh, the same verb, uh, is to assemble. Um, but, um, and they use the same verb, that same Hebrew verb, when they assemble to make the golden calf, as we said, I think, last year. For the day's Parsha, Moses assembled uh, these things um, in order to make the tabernacle so the Lord could uh, be with them so that they could worship the Lord. That when we first started reading, um, again, as we find throughout the Torah, we talk about on six days work may be done, but on the seventh day, the Sabbath is complete rest. There's no work even on the 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 Beit Hamikdash, the Ohel, uh, the Ohel, the uh, the uh, tabernacle. No work is to be done, and um, everyone is bringing gifts from their their heart. Uh, um, and uh, of silver, gold, and copper, and and uh, all kinds of things in order uh, to make the uh, tabernacle. It says, as it says, everyone whose spirit moved them. Um, so, and we find, um, and, and maybe you know Bezalel. Mm -hmm. uh, what tribe is he from? Judah. Judah. Okay, yeah. Bezalel is, is from the tribe of Judah, and these. And it says, Oli, um, Ohili Li'av is the son of uh, Ahishimach from the tribe of Dan. That I did write. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Lord had endowed them with skill. And these are all free offerings that they were accepting um, in order to uh, make the, the, um, the tabernacle. Very, and also this you'll find it's very detailed. Uh, it's almost like a recipe here as to how the Lord wants things uh, to be done. You want? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> just to the um, the the chapter start chapter thirty five starts out with a command, and as you mentioned, the command was to uh, not work on the Sabbath, uh, was to rest on the Sabbath day, and it's pointed out that this. The, the very first command uh, that was associated with the tablets, the tablets that God had written when Moses uh, brought them down or got them, was to, uh, was the greatest command to love thy God with all thy heart, all thy mind, all thy spirit. But then though that tablet was broken, so Moses went up and got a second set. And when he came down, the first command he gave them was to observe the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, he also added something in there too. Although he made it the first, he added something that they shouldn't kindle a fire. Now, some of the teachers point out that uh, the, the people were, in the, were giving and having a temple built. And they may have gotten the impression that, wow, 
we're doing something spectacular here. Perhaps it's permissible to work on the Sabbath. And Moses said, no, you can't even kindle a fire. Talk the workmen who are out there building for the, 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 the temple. No, you can't even work. Uh, the idea here is that we need spiritual rest, spiritual rejuvenation as much as uh, from, from our physical work. Yes. And I say that even built-in creation was this rest. Well, was God rested on the seventh day. But actually God was resting, wasn't re doing anything prior to creation. I shouldn't say doing anything. He may have been resting from that. So we go from <coughs> resting to creation back to resting. Mm -hmm. um, but if we are completely focused on, if we don't rest, we're com we, we are focused completely on the physical. Right. And we end up losing um, uh, any idea of, of, of uh, obtaining, of, of going up, of any idea of transcending above this physical world. Mm -hmm. Now, without Shabbat, we would be stuck in a physical world with no relief. Uh, our God, our, our um, godly souls would disappear. Uh, hence, there would be no aspiration for rising above the physical right. it, meaning if we don't rest and concentrate on the on the spiritual right. we fall into this maze of only the physical and that can only that doesn't lead anywhere mm -hmm. uh, observance of the Shabbat brings blessing uh, to our days including spiritual blessings I said and also, I did not add them up, but someone said of all the works that were being done in the temple, there's about 90, uh, no, I'm sorry, not 90, 39 forms of labor that are, that are taking place here in the construction of this temple. Um, I, I'm not sure how they counted them up, but mm -hmm. I, don't, I wouldn't challenge them. And also, Bezalel was given two things. He was given... The ability to construct the work, and he was also given the ability to teach others how it was done, mm -hmm. which was very important. Some people um, are good at what they do, but they can't teach anyone. And then that's, there are the same people who are good at what they do, and they just don't want to teach anyone. And then there are people who can teach, but they can't perform the work. So with Bezalel, it was kind of unique that he had both the ability to teach and the ability to do the work. Um, I mentioned also, well, about the killing of the fire. Um, some, I'm tempted to say some may, you know, if you're building for the temple and the fire goes out and takes you longer to get it started. Mm -hmm. So they may say, well, gee, we'll just keep the fire going over the Sabbath day. Most said, no, 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 not, not even that. Spiritual, uh, uh, concentrating on the physical is is very important as it is on the um, the phys physical, maybe even more so. Mm -hmm. uh, verse five mentioned uh, the offerings for people who are who had a willing heart. Some say for those whose heart carried them away or who were cared by their heart to give. It, it, it points out one thing. Jews are giving people. They give for a good cause and they give for a bad cause. Mm -hmm. They gave for the golden calf. The only, it, it, the only common thing is that they, they give. Good or bad, they, they give. give. Well, yeah. You're right. <laughs> they sure gave for the golden right. calf. <laughs> now, one, one of the rabbi teachers said that uh, almost in every Jewish community there's Philanthropic, more so than any other philanthropy, more than any other community. Yes, I. He would know better than I would know. Yes. Uh, also, um, what that? Oh yeah. Also, this is this is something new, a new relationship with Moses, because of his um, uh, 
second trip down the mountain. And before he went uh, on the first visit, and even prior to his visit, Moses was very approachable. But after his second visit, he wasn't approachable because of the way he is, his face shone, and he had to hide it when he talked to the people. Mm -hmm. Or covet it, maybe hiding may not be a good word. But their relation, his relationship had changed since then. Also, they said this was, when Moses came down was John Kapoor, uh, indicating to the people that God had forgiven them, had forgiven their sins. And also, I'm gonna say a new relationship is also in, in process, a new relationship with the people, mm -hmm. a new understanding about God, and a new un understanding about Moses and the relationship with the people. Uh, now, one other thing here that said the people gave, and uh, one said they gave enough, and and well, yeah, verse seven, chapter thirty-six says, "For the stuff they have, uh, for the stuff they had was sufficient of all the work to make it." and too much. So one point I'll say, well, gee, did they have enough or did they have too much? Well, I'm sure they had more than enough and they had too much. Maybe the idea of how God gives in excess and maybe the people are trying to do that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they had, uh, maybe they had both enough and more than enough. A couple more things here. I underlined as we were going along, I think. Uh, Maybe I got all the underlines done. I thought I had one more. No. I did write down some other notes on the back and I don't think I've covered them yet. So let's see. Um, maybe I did. I. Let's see, Shabbat is the, is the day we reflect on our spiritual being, on our spiritual being mm -hmm. and health, uh, freedom and lessons and less on our physical being. Hence, life is more than physical, mm -hmm. it is also spiritual. Mm -hmm. And this principle was built into creation because God ceased from creation. Uh, he did not cease from being spiritual, but spiritual uh, from spiritual to creation and back to spiritual. I, I mentioned so. Uh, spiritual is is um, uh, is built in um, in creation and should be built part of our DNA as well. And I did mention earlier that things had changed when Moses came down from the mountain the second time. Mm -hmm. that his relationship had changed because he wasn't as approachable as he was before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the final thing with, with the construction of the, the temple, I, reading it, you just don't get a full appreciation for it. But the, the temple was constructed uh, for the purpose of beauty, something that would bring a sense of awe and something that would re reflect on the spiritual. So it, sure. you can't, it's hard to get it from reading uh, on paper, but to see it, it is to, uh, to help you focus on the spiritual and not just the physical. It was created for beauty, mm -hmm. something we could connect to. Mm -hmm. So what is the temple? The, the temple is a place where uh, God is invited to earth and um, uh, it's his place here on earth. It's our welcoming God here on, on earth. Mm -hmm. okay. But I think that's about all I have, even the extra notes I've written down. Well, I one, I listened to one guy today. I was looking for something um, to close out my little session on YouTube because I shut down my YouTube on Shabbat. And um, I forgot what organization this guy is from. He always said, greeting from Israel. So he reminded us that the the word Shabbat uh, has three meanings, and I forgot. One is to sit, yeshev, and the yeshevet, I sit. Um, another is to rest. 
Um, and the other, and I forgot, taken from Yeshev, the sit, is repentance, teshuva. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine there are three things in Shabbat that we should be doing? We should be sitting, resting, and uh, making uh, and asking for a repentance. It is a it that's 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 what this is all about. And if we we are uh, right with God as as Israel was after mm -hmm. the golden calf when everything was made right, then we then we um, have repented, and then God will dwell with us because He can't dwell with uh, a sinful uh, uh, people; mm -hmm. it just can't do it. Um, and so. I thought that was very uh, deep. I forgot about that. That this this is a time like you were saying about the spiritual. That the Shabbat is about uh, the spiritual. That the 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 that we can't exist. We could that that trying to exist on your own labors is not good. Mm -hmm. And so you need that spiritual component, which is God, in order to truly exist and uh, live a, a righteous life. So, mm -hmm. so that's why. Shabbat is so important and so deep so that we are repenting. We have repented of our sin and God has agreed to rest and sit with us because we, we are, are covered by the blood of Messiah Jesus, mm -hmm. Yeshua. And so he can actually come close to us on Shabbat and teach us what we need to know for the coming week in order so we can make a living so that the physical mm -hmm. does not overcome us, that he will show us what we need to do and uh, and so we're thankful for that. That's why we're we're here again, observing the Shabbat. Mm -hmm. We're sitting with God. Anything else? Uh, no, that's all I have. It's very good. That's a no. very very good. Get the teshuva, yeshev, um, yeshev. It's sitting with God and repenting, uh, so that He can dwell with us. So in these these as the New Testament said, uh, as our body is the temple uh, of the Lord, and if we repent by accepting the blood sacrifice, the sacrifice of Yeshua, then God is able to dwell with us on this on this Shabbat. And uh, so we ask Him to dwell with us today. That we ask Him to sit with us as we go about our day, as we rest, as we um, take uh, learn more uh, uh, spiritual and uh, connect with Him. Also, mm -hmm. a connection that will give us what we need for the coming week. Mm -hmm. um, next week, the parasha is Peku Day, the counting, and it's taken from um, Exodus 38, chapter verse 21 through 40, 38, and let's see. And it starts out Ele Pekude Hamishkan Mishka Meshken Ha Adat Asher Um Pakad Al Pi Moshe Avdat Ha Halav Halavim Bayad Itamar Bain Aharon Ha Kohen. These are the records of the tabernacle, the tabernacle of the pack which were drawn up at Moses' bidding, the work of the Levites under the direction of Ithamar, son of Aaron, the priest. And, the, and we'll talk about it next week, but the accounting is, is just that. They made a list of what they got in. And uh, I think we came up with some really interesting mm -hmm. reasons why that was important last year. So we'll see what we um, do this coming week. Mm -hmm. I put your uh, paper down there. This time I was all target. I put the song. Did you get your song? Yes. Okay. And let's see how many verses we'll sing. We'll just sing the whole thing because it's just over and over again. It's repetition. Okay. I love you, Lord. And I love my voice. To worship you, O oh my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear. Let me sweet, sweet sound in your ear. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice, and I lift my voice to, worship to worship you, 
help you, oh my soul, oh my soul, rejoice, take joy, my king, take joy, my king, in what you hear, in what you hear, let me a sweet, let it be sweet a sweet sound, sound in your ear. I love, love you, Lord, Lord and, and I, I lift my presence will not obliterate us because we have accepted the shed blood of Messiah Jesus Yeshua. We have accepted his sacrifice and we are covered so that the Lord can be here with us and we, we await uh, well he is here. No, I was going to say we await his arrival. He is here and we just thank him that he will be with us until we um, um, do the Havdalah that he will be with us, close with us and teach us his ways. Um, we just thank you all for being with us and we wish you uh, Shabbat Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Shabbat Shalom, Shavuot Tov.